Is it important for people to match the masking tape to their clothing or is that just optional? That's an option, but if you can, if you can find a hat that's the same color as the masking tape, it, it's helpful. So it turns out New York is really cold in the winter. So we decided to pack up all of our stuff and finish the renovation back down south. We got all of our tools and pretty much our entire lives packed up into Penelope and we headed down to North Carolina. We had a real life encounter with the old woman in the shoe, very weirdly. And we took some footage for you on the drive, but it was far too loud, so we will dictate. Amelia's gonna edit while we drive. Dave's gonna put his hat on. Here's the Yogi Bo bean bag that we set up between the seats for Amelia to edit on. And the sun's in my eyes, so I'm gonna adjust that camera. Dave's my Uber driver here. Five stars. Five star, five star. We've had two massive Red Bulls this far. It's pretty good considering. <laughs> good one, babe. No coffee today. We got up at 5.30 in the morning and we were on the road by six. It's amazing what happens when you get up early, said me. We're gonna get home, get our stuff unpacked, and it's supposed to be nice and sunny tomorrow for us to get back to work. Here we go. David and Emily in New York um, at 5 a.m. They christened us with some Palo Santo and uh, some sage and a Tibetan singing bowl and a poem and it was very beautiful and very meaningful and such a great way to start a new chapter. So we'll, we'll light another one here. Who can say what the <laughs> I'm sure I'm doing this right. Oh my God. What an amateur. Good. <laughs> Today, I am finally getting to do the herringbone stencil on this back wall. And so I'm gonna show you my little setup. I got this stencil on Etsy for about $18. And I have some delicate painter's tape to tape that up. Um, a tape measure, a couple different forms to make sure I'm getting it perfectly centered. I have this copper tape that I got on Amazon and I've cut them to be the same size as these little herring bones so that I can do most of it with this um, oil-based paint pen. And then I'm gonna do a couple little copper trickled in moments. And then I just have pencil, scissors, that's about all I'm gonna need to get this going. So let's do it. I'm not nervous, you're nervous. So I made myself a center mark, and then I'm just going to start center and work my way out so that whatever the edges end up being, they'll at least be symmetrical. Uh, okay, Amelia, you're fine. Hey. Not bad. Really not bad. Great. I made a boo-boo. This, and this, and this, and this are all right side up, and I somehow got the stencil upside down. I'd highly recommend writing top, the top of your stencil, which is what I did after this happened. So, I am just going to paint over it and hopefully it'll be just fine. Ooh. While I was waiting for my coats of paint to dry, I went ahead and started adding my little copper tape moments throughout the herringbone design. First, you want to line up your edge right here with the edge of your herringbone. The next thing is I've just kind of been eyeballing where it needs to land. Make 
think would be about right there. Is it important for people to match the masking tape to their clothing or is that just optional? That's an option, but if you can, if you can find a hat that's the same color as the masking tape, it, it's helpful. I'll take the angle the, and I'll go in the top right here and you want to kind of go quick because you don't want it to bleed, but not too quick that you don't get a nice dark line. And always go away from the line. So I'll go down, down, and I try to lay my Sharpie right in the stencil and then I'll come back and I'll go and I'll meet in the middle there, so up. And then you use these lines here. That's your next line when you move up. So you can just continue those like that. That's really good. Thank you. Those, this was probably <laughs> the best, most productive work day we've ever had. Ever. We got this whole herringbone done. We got a good amount of those copper tape. Um, you sanded the drawer boxes down, and then I got all of those primed. I primed this entire thing, all the beadboard down here, um, all five drawer boxes, all three panels. Um, oh, Look. we started to pad out the above the bunk thing. Mm -hmm. With the uh, batting, just nice to have a successful day that just didn't feel stressful. Yeah, it was such a good day. It was we such did, a good day. We did have to drive an hour and a half to get there. Yeah, it, really, it was really nice to wake up and see the camper right outside, get straight to work. We have, Oh, and we unloaded the entire RV this morning yeah. with all of the stuff that we traveled here with. So we haven't fully unpacked it, but it's out of here, and then we immediately couldn't wait to start working. What's the goals for tomorrow? I think the goals are to either put a big dent in or finish the front of the cab. Mm -hmm. the above the bunk, the the bunk. below the bunk. Below the bunk. Um, good work, baby. We got a lot to do and nothing but time to do it, so we're very excited. Booked and blessed. Booked and blessed. Good work. Good work. <laughs>